hello and welcome to team vlfi channel uh, in this session of the linux system administration in the previous session was too lengthy uh, so we have to stop uh, on the uh, only user management uh, commands now we will start to network management in this session uh, so please like the video and subscribe our channel so uh, in previous session we have covered the uh, category 5 uh, that is user management and this session we will cover the network management only uh, so uh, in network management we will see uh, the if config command if up if down ping net state trace out uh, route uh, fh scp host host nav it is some important things of the network management we will see in this session after that we will see the system management and installation management uh, in the uh, next session uh, so let's begin so in the network management category our first command is if config so if config command is basically mm, uh, is similar to the ip config in the windows system it's if config is will show the details of network interfaces so simply if we run the command if config here uh, config here it will show the uh, uh, details of network interfaces and its status so if i say network in interfaces then it means that uh, these are the network interfaces enp0 s3 since this is a virtual machine so virtual machine so uh, things are a bit different uh, in the uh, other machines you will find the other name here uh, but anyway uh, I have to just demonstrate that ENP uh, 0S3 is our, our network uh, our network interface which, which uh, has a IP this uh, 10.0.2.15 and net mask is this and this is in running status and uh, multicast ok uh, some, some is loop back this, this is not a uh, connecting to the outer world so uh, this this interface is connecting to uh, uh, to us to the outer world okay so you can you can find the details like uh, IP Mac ID you can you can uh, you can find the uh, Mac ID this is the Mac ID of the system and many things you can find here you will see uh, so see one by one here if config uh, okay uh, so if config minus a command will show the only the active active and inactive network interfaces uh, if we want to uh, the details of some specific interface uh, so we have to run the command if config followed by the uh, name of the network interface like uh, in our case it is uh, ENP0 S3 so if we run the command ENP0 S3 followed by the if config uh, so it will show only the details of uh, this interface not the all so you can see here uh, here is the details of only ENP03 0 S3 not all the uh, uh, interfaces uh, so our next command so you can uh, find so basic things is you can find that IP here and uh, uh, MAC ID and then net mask all the things you can find here and the status it is running or not uh, through the if config then our next command is if of if of and if down and these commands are, has been used uh, has been used to activate or deactivate the uh, network interfaces if of will simply uh, uh, up the network interface and if down followed by the uh, interface name will uh, down the network interface in general it is eth0 which connects the internet uh, but in the uh, in my case it's virtual machine and by default it's its interface name is ENP 
0 as 3 so I will use uh, uh, the, uh, name as a ENP 0 as 3 so, so we can check it and that uh, if down so interface down then ENP 0 as 3 sorry OS not it G A E N P 0 as 3 if we run this device E N P 0 3 successfully disconnected so uh, we are not connected to internet right now we can we can check it if config E N P 0 as 3 if we run this command then you can see here you will not able to uh, see the IP address yeah right so uh, we, we have been uh, we have been disconnected from the internet uh, so if we want to again uh, connect to the internet we have to up our the interface so interface name is gnp 0 s 3 and command is if up all these commands should be run through the root otherwise you, uh, you, uh, uh, for a normal user they have not a privilege to if up and, uh, run to the if up and if down command so you must be uh, 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 you must have the root privilege to run this command so if up yeah you can see here connection successful activated okay uh, now if we run the if config command we can see here the that it has got an IP uh, it, as it was previous okay so if up and if down is uh, to activate or deactivate the network interface similar command is ping ping is used to check the network connectivity uh, like uh, we can uh, ping from IP or some host name like uh, I have not uh, network connected uh, some machine share so we can use uh, like www.google.com itself it will ping the google yeah so you, ca you can ping and check the connectivity control c is to dis uh, discontinue then clear the window yeah and the ping command then uh, next command we have seen the ping command then next command is net state net state command is our uh, tool the uh, monitor <laughs> command line tool to monitor network connections uh, so the first command is net state uh, dash a to see all the listing and non non uh, listening and non listening ports uh, net state minus 80 to list all the TCP ports only TCP ports so let's do uh, run the command net state a it will list out all the uh, ports in your system uh, similarly net state minus 80 will list only the TCP port okay so these are uh, so these are the TCP ports you can find the details of our internet what is the TCP port and what other ports are there so this is the way I am just demonstrating the uh, commands through which we you can check the things so net state minus i uh, will uh, list out all the network ports ok network ports uh, let's check it net state minus i yeah Uh, it will it will list out all the uh, network interfaces only you can you can see here ENP ENP 0 S3 and LO and BR PIRB0 these are the network interfaces port okay so next command is net state minus G to print IP, IPv4 and IPv6 information uh, let's do it 
clear the screen and run net state uh, minus g so it will uh, uh, it will uh, display the information of I, ipv6 and ipv4 uh, uh, details okay so our next command is trace out trace out to identify the path used to pack it to reach the destination uh, so when whenever we uh, send some uh, request to the destination host uh, then it it follows a certain path we can we can check that path using the uh, trace uh, trace route command so command is uh, trace route all together then then the host name uh, I have not uh, network uh, connected any machine share so I have to do to Google it will list out the get all the gateways uh, through which uh, the our connection is passed I don't know why I have checked this uh, there are uh, all the details here but right now is tracing the route yeah so next command is our uh, route so uh, route is show the details of kernel routing tables yeah it's uh, this is the important how kernel has been routed so root minus n so the kernel routing table here this is the way our kernel has been connected okay so next command is ffh this is very important command and very commonly used to access any network machines and uh, so ffh command used to log in in remote machines in network we can log in any machines uh, in a network through the ffh command so command is ffh and then username say user1 it's uh, some other machines then followed by ip address yeah uh, uh, we can we can connect through the uh, we can connect the machine which IP address is this one 10.0.63.221 and username user1 uh, actually I am not connected in uh, I have not uh, this machine in my network but if you have some machines and you run the command in this way and enter it will ask the password of user1 if you provide the right password of user1 you will connect to the machine of this IP yeah um, but uh, if you run only this command you you, you will not able to see the uh, display and uh, uh, and graphical things you can can't do you have only privilege to uh, command line if you want to uh, get the access of uh, the display or graphics you have to add minus x minus y and then you uh, Minus X and minus minus X Y remote login allow trusted X eleven forwarding display so you can uh, do the graphical things through the remote access. Then our next command is SCP clear terminal and SCP SCP command is used to uh, copy uh, copy the files in the network so. Uh, command is scp minus r then we have to uh, provide the source source of file source location then destination location this is the way uh, to copy uh, a file in a network so command is scp minus r yeah uh, in this command you can see uh, both uh, if if you want to copy from uh, our network machine to the another network machine not not uh, to the dish machine uh, 
uh, we have uh, connected machine machine one and machine two in network I if we want to uh, copy from uh, uh, file from machine one to machine two uh, we have to provide the uh, uh, source IP here and source users and uh, path of the files then then the destination user destinations IP and the path of the destination yeah we can mm, so next command is uh, suppose we want to copy some uh, files from our computer connected in our network to my uh, home directory so we uh, we have to run this command scp minus r then uh, then uh, source uh, files details like user and ip then path then uh, uh, if we put uh, dot here then uh, dot means the present working directory so files will be copied in uh, our present working directory suppose we want to send some uh, file from uh, the, uh, my computer to another computer we have to run this command scp minus r then uh, we can directly provide the uh, file name uh, here or path of the file uh, no need to uh, mention the IP uh, since it's it's my computer and <coughs> and to provide the uh, destination username and IP and the path okay so SCP command very useful command uh, in copying the files and uh, transferring the files and uh, in the network so next command is host uh, host command is uh, get the IP address associated with some host like <coughs> if we run the command host then yahoo.com see yeah so we can find the uh, uh, IP address of yahoo.com these are the IP address ok uh, so next command is hostname hostname will display the hostname of the system <coughs> if we run the command hostname it will show the hostname of the this machines uh, that that is Raj, Raj is the host name of this machine. You can see here. And if we run the command host name minus i, it will show the first MAC ID. And then network interface name of the network interface then IP all the things okay so we have done uh, so in this way we have covered all the uh, commands of uh, network management related to network management it's not all but uh, uh, most of the important commands of the network management uh, so in next session we will uh, look over the system management things Thank you. Thank you for watching uh, this video. Please uh, like this video and subscribe our channel. Thank you.